Welcome to the Dylan Adams Show. Today we have reoccurring guest Madison and a new guest, Joe. Um, first, we're going to start off with one thing about yourselves. Madison, you start. I'm going to give this one to Joe. He's there. No, it's, uh, oh, I would love for you to start off and light the fire in me. I don't know what I'm going to say. Yes, everyone's going to say um, a fruit that starts with the first letter of your name. And your name. So, let's go. go, Madison. There we go. Madison. That's a eight. Vape juice. Dylan. Maybe. Vape juice, dude. Vape juice. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Nice. Dragon fruit, Dylan. Adam Apple. <laughs> Easy one. Easy one. Oh, Adam. Um, Joe Jabota Kaba. That's not a fruit. Okay, here. All right. It's a badass grape, basically. All right, Joe. What is your most fond memory of Maddie? Ooh, yep. so kind. Good one. I looked at you for about a millisecond, and you were wearing this jersey, and I thought of the first time we met. The, so, the tissue box. We had a recruitment event. We were watching football at the house, Monday Night Football, and the Giants were playing. Madison showed up in his jersey. He's all hyped up. Never met this kid in my life, and he's trying to join us. And he is having a little connection over here because the Giants weren't doing so well. Which they never do. They never do. Basically, he was basically crying about it. So I went and got a tissue, a couple tissues for him, and I go, here you go. You can wipe off your tears. Uh, and that's how I introduced myself to Madison. Oh, that was awesome. Wow. My favorite. Wow. Wait, hold on, before you say it, anything. <laughs> Tactical difficulty. This is, this is my fucking calc teacher, Professor Glenn, literally uh, the other day opened class with, I'm not shitting you, I counted a 10 second long fart. No, I what, is the, what did the class say? I don't often <laughs> laugh about farts, dude, but I'll be honest, it was the longest thing I've ever heard. Was he aware? Oh, he was totally aware, and he tried to play it off. He's like, he's like, welcome class, it's about, uh, it's about four o'clock right now, and then... No, it was last week. It was last week? week? Yes! And he just ripped this long ass part. And I posted about it on Yik Yak. And all of the fucking kids in my class, because they're all freshmen, they're all still excited about Yik Yak. <laughs> they fucking all were going in on it. It was so funny. So, where I was working this summer in Pittsburgh, there was this weird guy. Basically, he just said really weird stories all the time. It was like showing me marks on his wrist from like her grabbing his wrist so hard. And I'm like, I don't care, Dash. You're really creepy. <laughs> yes. Basically, the kid was really weird. Uh, he would always come up and just tell random stories and show like, so like my age, basically, mm -hmm. and it was really annoying because I didn't like him. Nice. Very bad designer, very bad at his job. And the company was bought out by another company, and they went through his computer search history, and he was watching porn on his work computer. <laughs> no. No, he's And he was designing... <laughs> He was designing a silencer for a handgun that he had purchased on a work computer wow. as well. Like that's, so now it's at the point of you're doing personal stuff on your work computer that should never be done ever. So they fired him. That day, we had the security guard come to work. He was in our building for a week and a half. Oh my because, God. And we were on lockdown for that week and a half. Basically, when we got to work, every door was locked. And we oh, couldn't no really way. leave unless like the security guard was near the door. Damn. What? They because they, they were was... scared he was going to come back with a gun. But it was weird because the security guard was this probably 70-some-year-old man. So he wasn't going to do anything. Did not look like he was going to do anything. So he was clearly, he was packing some heat. <laughs> there was no other way he was going to get anything. Like, like ninja stars or some crazy stuff. I don't know. In what have you ever met a security guard that's equipped with ninja stars? Dude, he's an like old stock. guy. Yes. He's an old guy. What it'll happen? No, you haven't, Adam. <laughs> I've seen throwing knives. Okay, that's I have that's too. reason. You've seen two. throwing knives in this Yeah, but not guard. fucking yeah. ninja stars. I've seen Come throwing on. knives. This kidding. isn't fucking Naruto. That would be terrifying. Like the guard chasing after you and he just <laughs> <laughs> hits you in the back and you're like, oh. <laughs> oh that would be I would be more terrified of a gun bullets flying though. You know? Yo, getting just missed by like a bullet would must must be the craziest yes. fucking shit, dude. Like you're so during close. paintball, getting missed by a paintball is pretty crazy too. Yeah, but imagine like a real bullet, like you could have been fucking dead. Yes. It's or just crazy. We did have season four, episode one of the pond last night, so that's a throwback. I, I don't want this one. I should, I should have this logged should, when I was this there. This needs to be off Maybe, the record though. Dude. That's kinda risky stuff. Off the record. Off the record. record. Yeah, I'm not talking it about like being way too.
Okay, umbrella scare. Um, for all you kids out there, 2011-12 <laughs> umbrella scare, my freshman oh. year. So the umbrella scare, basically, a kid was on the bus, he had an umbrella, and it looked like a samurai sword, but the bus driver saw it, and it looked like an odd handle, so he thought it was a, like a machine gun, basically, in, the, in a backpack. But it was an umbrella. School went on lockdown, everyone got these text messages, like, really early in the morning. I got out of my bed, went down, grabbed a knife, I was like, I'm not going down without a fight! <laughs> like, within that day, people had t-shirts made saying, I survived the umbrella scare. Yeah. Within like hours, like, nicely like yes. screen printed shirt that they got done, done, and everyone was walking around campus with umbrellas for like a week. <sighs> everyone just walked around with umbrellas. It could be <laughs> perfect weather, umbrellas. <laughs> it was one of the best times of freshman year. That is so bizarre. Oh, well, I wish something like that happened hours. Right? It makes me so sad. It's such a memory. Such a memory. That's cool. Gonna be like, so is eh. <laughs> That's what we use. <laughs> this one. Yo, this dude. Nah. No. Yo. Oh wait, that yeah, that kid. Yeah. Let me see him. Yo, yo, Adam. Or no, Dylan. Sorry. He's cool as fuck. Can you? Can you put? Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh, he's so weird. So cool. Let me see so him. Weird. Anyways, Dylan, you should put a cat. Please use this as description. Oh, of course. Description. <laughs> description. Like the really stupid shit. Please, please <laughs> description. Yo. That's so tight. Madison's line. That's my. Uh, the hit. slogan of the, the week. Hit. He's making the light cool. This is making the light really cool. Oh, that's so magical, dude. <laughs> that's the Brotherhood page. Oh. State of Bliss, Mike, is that? Hey, Sean. Yeah. This is cool. Most recent one has a couple weeks ago.